think it'll be interesting to see what he thinks of this, but honestly, I really don't know what Bob's going to think of this. I hope he likes it. Today on You Can Cook Anything, I've got a surprise for my cousin Bob. Now, um, my cousin introduced me to real maraschino cherries, which is something that he really likes. The original maraschino cherry actually was uh, marinated with maraschino liqueur. So today what we're gonna do is make homemade maraschino cherries so that I can bring a jar to my cousin and see what he thinks of them. But I haven't told him, so it's a surprise. We're gonna take a cup of sugar, pour it into a medium saucepan. Before you turn the heat on this saucepan, you're going to add either about two inches of vanilla bean scraped, or this is a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Actually, I think this is two teaspoons of vanilla extract. As always, the full ingredients and instructions will be in the description down below. Okay, so before you turn the heat on, you want to get this vanilla incorporated into the sugar a little bit. Okay, now once that's fully incorporated, you can turn your heat on to about half. And what I'm gonna do is start to get this sugar mixed with half a cup of water. One cinnamon stick pinch of nutmeg, and in my case, I've got some uh, a whole nutmeg that I'm gonna grate just a few times into here. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it to what I figure a pinch is. I'm gonna add the juice of one lemon. And I'm gonna stir that around a bit until I see that the sugar is dissolved. Once the sugar is dissolved, I'm gonna give this five minutes for the flavors to kind of incorporate into the liquid. I'm gonna turn down the heat to medium low and cover the pan. This is spent five minutes on a low simmer. I covered it with my bowl of cherries here. Um, and as you can see, well, it hasn't really changed any. It looks the same, but as I can smell, the flavors have really come out. So to this mixture, I will add a pound of cherries. Now these are frozen cherries that I thawed. Uh, they actually thawed while they were sitting on top of the pan here. So there's a little bit of cherry juice in there because uh, cherries, when you freeze them, they break down a little bit. Uh, you can use fresh cherries uh, that you have pitted. I decided I didn't want to spend a lot of time pitting cherries. The kind of cherries that are probably ideal for this recipe are slightly sour cherries because you're adding so much sugar to the recipe. Um, and I didn't have access to great sour fresh cherries. So uh, I found a brand of frozen cherries that was a mix of sweet and sour cherries. And I figured that would be a fun variety to have in this recipe. So in goes a pound of thawed fresh cherries. And I'm gonna cook this for three minutes. Really, you're, you're looking for the cherries to soften. So bring it to a simmer, hold it there for about three minutes. If you've got fresh cherries, you might want to just make sure that you're seeing them soften. Okay, these have been simmering for three minutes, and now what I'm going to do is turn off the power and let them start to cool down. And I'm going to add what is the actual magic in this maraschino cherry recipe, which is the maraschino liqueur. I've got Luxardo here. Um, it's a classic maraschino liqueur, and I'm going to add one cup of that to the cherries and let it sit like that as they cool. Okay, so that needs to cool. And once it does cool, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spoon it into some four ounce jars like this one. Now, if you want to keep these for a longer term and uh, not necessarily refrigerated, you should can them 
and obviously you can do that by following the instructions on any of the uh, jars that you buy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give some of these away and I'm going to keep mine in the fridge. So I'm not going to be canning uh, mine at this time. Okay, I've let the mixture cool and I've filled one of the jars. We need to find out what Bob thinks of this. I'm driving to Bob's house now and uh, to be honest, I don't know what he's gonna think of this recipe. You know, I consider Bob to be essentially the ultimate judge and final arbiter of most of the foods that I would make as far as whether they are delicious and or authentic. Um, we've had different experiences of different foods, but um, a number of the foods that he's introduced me to, I usually check with him when I try to make something. And, uh, he gives me the thumbs up, I know I'm good because uh, he's kind, but he's going to be honest with me. I think it'll be interesting to see what he thinks of this, but honestly, I haven't had a lot of real maraschino cherries, so. I don't know what Bob's going to think of this. Hope he likes it. Okay. So I'm at the door and uh, privacy first, so we're doing this audio right now. Hey, cuz. Hey, buddy. You know I was coming over, but you don't know why. Idea. All right, so All let's right. Uh, get a fork, okay. and I'm gonna make you play a guessing game. All right. And well, let's go outside and let's. Uh... Hey, Gumi. Do you remember? So first of all, I want to say that the reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to just think of something fun that I could do for you because you came through for me recently. So I just wanted to have a bit of fun together, and right. I knew you'd enjoy this. But I'm gonna make you guess first. This was like a few years ago. You were like, you asked me, hey, have you ever had this before? And you said, okay, well, and you had a jar and you had a few things in there. And you okay. said, try this. And I was like, oh, that's pretty good. I didn't realize there was a real version of that. Something that you don't normally just eat out of the jar. You usually put it in something else okay. as a garnish. When the fake ones are like neon bright red. Oh, are you talking about real maraschino cherries? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made real you maraschino made real. cherry. Come on, are you serious? Yep. There they are. Open it, try it, an honest opinion. Okay. If you know, two questions will be one, do they seem to you like real maraschino cherries? And two, would you put them in a cocktail? Okay. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna guess that's a sour one. I think so. I think that is a sour one. Yeah. They're gonna be a little sweeter because they're not cold. I'm not just saying, let me try another one. <laughs> These are so close to the other ones, less sugar. So you remember how the other ones had that syrup and it was like mm -hmm. really snotty? That's one of the things I noticed is this is less thick. This although, is less thick, but the flavor is almost identical. It might thicken as it cools if you as put it, it in cools? the fridge. Yeah, maybe. Because it's still a little warm. That's what I thought too. I'm, I'm still gonna have one I thought the same more, thing. But I could barely remember because I haven't had that many maraschino cherries. So these are made with, uh, I can't remember the name of it, the, uh, real maraschino liqueur obviously, because you can't have maraschino cherries without maraschino liqueur. Yeah, that's what I'm tasting, maraschino liqueur. That's it. No kid. okay, this is the last one. Someone remind me with. Down below. I'll put in, I'll, in I'll, vo comments, I'll voice over. It it's Luxardo. Luxardo. Luxardo, Luxardo. Yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna have one more. Dude, 
other than the the reduced sweetness, you got it. You you that pretty much like got it. That sounds like a bonus. To the me. thing I would actually yeah. Because what I'm thinking is like instead of having to make one of those sugary sick cocktails that I love, I um, like them too. when you're sitting on the beach and getting mm-hmm. silly, you could actually make. This would make anything killer with bourbon. Oh yeah, because yeah. it's not so sweet that it's like those. We have a very thick syrup, and it brings too much sweetness sometimes. So I could totally see. What is it? Is it the Manhattan Manhattan's. that you know has what? the uh, orange peel in it? That sounds like another episode. Bourbon cocktails with maraschino cherries. Yeah, dude, this is phenomenal. Classic cocktails. Look for it in the future. It's coming soon. Actually, you know what? If you want that episode, leave a comment. We want to know. We want to hear from you if you want that episode. Yeah, I'll go make a test batch right now. Yeah, all right. I'm still on vacation. So I th- I'm going to call this a success. And I want you to remember what Bob and I always say. You can cook anything. You can cook anything.